guys, my name is Charlie, and today we're going to be talking about one of the coolest creatures in the animal kingdom, the turtle. More specifically, we're going to be talking about two different species of turtles today, the red-eared slider and the midland painted turtle. First we're going to be talking about the red-eared slider. So the red-eared slider is actually native to only the southern east part of the United States, specifically the Mississippi Valley. The red-eared slider is actually the most popular turtle on the pet trade in the United States and the world. Now with the red-eared slider being the most popular turtle on the pet trade, we've had a lot of pets released into the wild, causing it to be an invasive species to the native turtle population. Now here in Ohio, the red-eared slider is not a native species. Populations of red-eared sliders have been found on every continent in the world except Antarctica. These turtles prefer habitats with slow moving water, like ponds, streams, like maybe small rivers, and small lakes. And they can tolerate any type of man-made environment. They thrive in dams, uh, marshes, and even canals. Right here is my friend Timmy. Now Timmy is a female red-eared slider, and you can tell she's a female because of the claws right here. Now you see these short claws? If this was a male, Timmy's claws would be probably about 10 times longer. Here's a good example of a male's claws. The females get much larger than the males. Uh, this is about, she's about full grown. Timmy's about 15 years old. And as you can see, she's very active. Now redhead sliders do have a huge variety in their diet. Uh, they're mostly herbivores, um, but also omnivores. They do eat a lot of different like bugs, worms, snails. They are predatory to smaller animals, snails, worms, uh, small shrimp and crayfish. One of the biggest misconceptions about red-eared sliders is that when people buy them, they're like this little tiny quarter-sized turtle and they do not expect their turtle to grow in to something that's around eight to 10 inches large um, and live up to 50 years, 60 years in their habitat, in their home, and with you. So as you can see, the most distinctive part of the red-eared slider is, in fact, its red stripes by its ears. Um, in very rare cases, sometimes that red stripe is yellow, much like the painted turtle, which we're gonna get into right now. Okay, with me here now is a Midland Painted Turtle, which is native to uh, all of Ohio and uh, all of the Northeastern United States of America. And as you can see, uh, this is Baby. Baby has yellow stripes. Let me show, let me show you. She has yellow stripes uh, up her side. Um, if you can notice the difference between the red-eared slider uh, her stripes are way up here, um, where the baby here, her stripes are at the top of her head. Um, Painted turtle is the most common turtle in the United States. Again, if you look at her claws here, you can see that this is a female uh, because of the size of the claws. Uh, most turtles, uh, similar to painted turtles or red ear sliders, all the males, again, have very long claws in the front, uh, 10 times longer than what you see here. Painted turtles along with red-eared sliders uh, prefer similar habitats. Uh, they like cold, fresh water, uh, mostly still water, but they also will go in small streams or uh, not really rivers very much, but still lakes and ponds. Uh, they thrive in dams, uh, canals, anything made by man. Places where there's gonna be a lot of organic material um, they thrive a lot because there's going to be lots of algae buildup and stuff like that. They eat algae, they eat small snails and worms and crayfish and shrimp uh, and small fish, of course. Uh, this guy here, uh, she loves fish. Uh, they, if you do have one in your home as a pet, uh, you can feed them uh, small feeder fish. Although we don't usually recommend that. Uh, feeder fish can carry disease which can transfer to your turtle. So the painted turtle is um, somewhat predatory. 
It also hunts along the bottom of the bed of a pond or lake or canal or anything that I just talked about. So when the painted turtle is hunting, it will just go into some kind of vegetation. They'll quickly jolt into the vegetation to stir it up. Uh, that will cause whatever's in there, maybe little fish, little crayfish, uh, any type of small animal in there to come out and show itself so that the painted turtle can destroy it. Uh, now these turtles do have a number of predators in Ohio. The predators include uh, red fox uh, when they're babies, uh, gardener snakes, big uh, birds like crows, uh, water bugs can be potential disasters for baby turtles, and of course probably their largest predator for either the red ear slider or the midland painted turtle in Ohio is of course the uh, large uh, common snapping turtle. Uh, they are uh, predatory turtles and they do eat other turtles like my little buddy here. Now as you can see they call this a painted turtle because uh, if you can see up underneath her shell and her sides it's all this red here. Um, they do come in different colors. Uh, her just happened to be red. Uh, red ear sliders and painted sliders do commonly get confused with one another because they have very similar color, but they are different species. Uh, painted turtles also have the same lifespan as the red eared slider. Uh, it's up to 55 to 60 years um, in the wild or captivity. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this short video on a couple local species of turtle here in Portage County. For more information on local animal species in your area, be sure to visit wildlife.ohiodnr.gov.